Hello and welcome again to the Wild Side with Wildlife SOS. And I'm Kartik Satyanarayan, co-founder and CEO of Wildlife SOS. And joining us today is a talented Indian actress, famous for her heroine roles in Indian cinema. She wears many hats. She's a compassionate animal lover, a philanthropist, a gifted artist, and a supporter of Wildlife SOS for several years. Let's welcome Samyukta Hornard. Hi, Samyukta. Welcome to the Wild Side. Thank you for joining us today. How are you doing? Hi, Kartik. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I want to congratulate you on all the great work that you're doing with Wildlife SOS. And I'm very, very happy to be associated with Wildlife SOS for years. And I'm doing great. And uh, how are you? All safe, sound, everything in Delhi. Yes, we are safe and sound, thankfully, and our team has been working round the clock, Samyukta, to make sure that we can help animals in distress. You know, all through the lockdown, our teams have been running around, responding to uh, calls on our rapid response units, and we've been rescuing everything from snakes, monitor lizards, to leopards, elephants. Uh, you probably heard about our most recent rescue, Zara elephant. I did actually. I'm, I'm totally up to date with everything that you're doing. So yeah. <laughs> That's great. I hope you and your family are well and safe. What have you been doing during the lockdown? Honestly, throughout the lockdown, I have been out. I have been a part of the task force here. The COVID, I'm one of the COVID warriors. And my task was to feed dogs. Uh, every day, 4,000 dogs have been fed south of Bangalore. And uh, I just started a WhatsApp group with five people that whoever wants to feed stray dogs, just, you can give us the food, we find feeders and uh, there are about 3,20,000 stray dogs in Bangalore and that's a big task, right? And we are not supposed to go out. So with the help of government of Karnataka, I got permission for about 150 people and uh, we've been feeding dogs for about 80 days now and uh, rescuing dogs, doing everything. And uh, I don't think I've done anything more satisfying in my life. Uh, my me wanting to do more work with animals has just increased like a hundred folds this lockdown and i've only been doing that it's really wonderful that you've been feeding dogs on the streets through the lockdown in fact our sister organization friendly Coors, has been feeding about fifteen thousand mouths through the lockdown and that includes dogs cows camels uh, all kinds of animals donkeys horses etc so yeah, that's great. And, and we do need more people like you, COVID warriors in the true sense. Uh, Samyukta, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for the continued support that you've been giving to Wildlife SOS to help us take care of the rescued animals that have been in the Wildlife SOS Center. I know um, not too long ago, you visited the Banargata Bear Rescue Center that we run in Bangalore and uh, where you spent the entire day with the team of Wildlife SOS. I know uh, Dr. Arun and Sandhi speak of it very fondly. The entire staff over there have been quite overjoyed with your presence. Can you tell us about your experience that day with the bears? I was pleasantly shocked when I went to Wildlife SOS. Um, I was expecting like, um, like about 10, 15 bears and you know, different uh, enclosures and stuff. But I was so shocked to see even the clinic and it was so clean. Like sometimes when you visit these rehabilitation center, there's the smell or, you know, this was completely clean. And there were about 77 bears, cloths, everything that had been rescued. And they looked so happy. You know, I have seen, um, uh, you know, in Humpy or some of these places before the bear downs and all that got banned. It was, it was heartbreaking to see that. But to see uh, how these, bears have just changed and how they're improving their mental health and to go through all of that it was amazing i think uh, man and uh, uh, animal relationship that they're trying to uh, improve and even to uh, to make public aware of um, the habitation and how important it is for them to be in an environment like that i think i learned a lot and more than that i think i saw so many bears so happy and 
they're just playing and then eating and I, I want to be a bear so badly. I'm <laughs> like, just take me. But uh, it was beautiful. Uh, it was one of those things that I'll cherish. And, and I, like I said, immediately I adopted a, a bear and then a leopard and um, an elephant. I, and actually they're on my wall. If you want to see it, I can show you around. Do you want to of do that course. Now? I, yes. I can see there's a lot of art. I would love to. I would love it, Samyukta, if you could take us all for a little tour of your artwork at your home. So this is uh, Maya. She is from, she, she's the actual portrait of your Maya in Agra from My Life SOS. And this is Sugriv. Sugriv is uh, a tiger. And then this is Arjun. As soon as the bear in Bangalore that I adopted, like immediately after I visited wildlife SOS. Uh, these are my other babies. And by the I way, I love that like art. Samyukta, that, that is so beautiful and it's so artistic. Can you tell us your thought behind that and, and how did you come to do this kind of artwork? So this is me flying to the moon and that's my dog, my first baby I ever adopted. He's a stray dog called Gunda. This is my cat, Lela, and other animals that I've rescued. This is another elephant that I made for my own birthday. I gifted myself this. And then this is my baby Gunda. When he passed away, I wanted everyone to like look after him in paradise. So I made that. <laughs> so my artwork is like very, very personal. And uh, it all started, I think when I was uh, five years old, when they asked me, what is your dream? And I think, I had written in, like I was in first standard, I think, and I said, I want to fly to the moon on a cloud with all my stray dogs. And my obsession with animals started at a very young age. So it's so interesting that like about 15 years later, I was doing creative writing classes and they asked me, what's your dream? And I had more babies, more cats, more <laughs> monkeys, more elephants, everything on a cloud flying to the moon. And it's been my dream. I don't know. I have like when I look at myself 10 years from now, no humans. There are all these beautiful animals that I'm just chilling with on a cloud and drinking hot chocolate on the moon. And that's where the painting comes from. And my dad art space is just filled with all kinds of animal artwork. And even me, when I paint, I'll show you some of it later maybe. It's all just animals. Like I give my, um, like even when I want to give someone something, it comes in the form like the um, the animal takes on the personality of the person and I can't draw humans. I think animals are so beautiful that I don't feel like drawing anything. You know, I love your dream. I think it's a dream that everybody should borrow and, and enjoy. It's, it's such a wonderful dream. But thank you for sharing all of that art with us. It's beautiful. Uh, Samyukta, going back to the visit that you did in, in Banargata, you know, at our bear rescue center, uh, could you tell me what your favorite part was of that experience? Um, I think uh, from where we were standing, so all the bears were down, down and uh, they were all, there were all these rocky uh, uh, sort of uh, terrain and they were all just like chilling and fighting and I, I got to feed them a bit and I saw how they were just looking at me and I just, I just see them eating and I, it was beautiful and even the uh, enclosure when they were feeding and how they are, uh, they are really looked after, you know, and you can see that their, their relationship with the feeders, they, they're not scared, they just know. And that means that for a long time, they've had a very good relationship with humans itself. And uh, after they've been rescued, when you send them out, they really honestly are becoming bears, like their instincts are getting back. And I think seeing that was very, very special. That's excellent. Uh, and Samyukta, you've been an advocate for wildlife conservation and animal welfare for a long time. Can you tell us what inclined you towards this? At what part uh, or what age in your childhood did you become animal crazy like the rest of us here? See, uh, a lot of my friends and a lot of people that are me think I'm slightly insane because every conversation that I ever have have only things to do with animals. I think it started at a very young age, but what made it like the most important thing in my life is my dog Gunda and uh, everything that I am and everything I am, I'll ever be is because of him. Uh, Samyukta, you, we know you're also a very talented artist. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about your artwork and what inspires you? 
I know you've said Gunda, but I just thought you could tell a little bit more so it's more related to the question. So just a little bit briefly. So when it comes to painting, for me, I get happiness out of sketching animals, you know, and, um, and whatever I do, uh, I somehow find a link there because it makes me happy. End of it is a very selfish thing that this is what makes me happy. And uh, um, it's there. It's there in all of us somewhere deep down. And if you are willing to express it, like bring it out of you, it will sort of come out if, you're, if you like something else. I mean, I, I love animals. But if there's somebody else who loves something else, it sort of comes out in their painting, your expression. So for me, if you say love, I can only think of animals, right? So it, it comes out in whether it's acting, whether it's painting, whether it's the kind of music, everything revolves around these things. And so it's, it's, it's something that's a part of me, that's why. It's, it's, it, you can't get it out of you. Like it's so part of you that that's what you relate to. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing all those insights, Samyukta. By the way, in all TV channels everywhere, I'm known for this. Huh? They call me Prani Samyukta. Prani in Karana means animal. So they're like Prani Samyukta. Like other ones will have like baby girl or baby doll or something. I have got animal Samyukta. That's actually quite a compliment, Samyukta. You know, Prani Samyukta is quite a cool name, by the way. I, I love it. I want to tattoo it on my forehead and walk. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I love, love that, that little share that you did. That's amazing. Okay, now I'm going to move us to the rapid fire section, which I call elephant in the room. So uh, it's a rapid fire section. I'm going to ask you a bunch of random questions and you have to answer them as quickly as possible. Are you ready? Ready. ready. What's your spirit animal? Tiger. Who is your favorite artist? Ricky Javed. If a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be? It would definitely be a romantic comedy, drama, psycho thriller. <laughs> it would just be everything. Nobody will know what it is. It would be that something. Filled with animals, right? Filled with animals, adventure. I probably want to play Tarzan someday, but yeah. <laughs> Name your top three favorite animals. Oh, I love all animals, but I think tiger, uh, dogs, uh, and the rest. Can't pick one. No, no. I love. All, there's no animal. I, I. Do you know? I don't kill ants or mosquitoes, even like even by mistake. Nobody around me is allowed to do that, so I can't pick. So yeah. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? I think. Um, because it's COVID time, I'll say this, that the fact that we've abused so many animals and we haven't looked after them is why uh, there's karma that's happening. Uh, we see that humans are dying only because we have misused what rights were given and we only consider human rights and no animal rights. I think I would make sure that uh, uh, animals are treated well and I would want everyone to see it and treat all animals correctly. Which was the last TV series that you binge watched? Money Heist or Afterlife, Afterlife, yeah. Last question. What does conservation mean to you, Samyukta? <laughs> um, conservation is exactly what Wildlife SOS, what you guys are doing. Uh, firstly, making the public aware of how important it is to look after animals and about animal rights. And then uh, letting them grow in their environment, in the environment or in the habitat they're supposed to be in. Also rescuing the abandoned wildlife and, um, and uh, giving them their uh, whatever is required to help them grow. And I think conserva conservation then would mean to make sure that we all coexist because we, without them we can't live. It's a cycle and we need to understand that. For our own selfish reasons, we need to look after nature, we need to look after our animals and I think uh, I think that's where it starts. I think we should first understand that we need to love all animals. Thank you, Samyukta. That was uh, really very inspiring. It was great to speak with you today. Do you have a message for our viewers? Yeah, um, being at Wildlife SOS, I actually want to be there and serve more animals. But since I couldn't physically be there all the time, I decided to adopt some of their babies. And it's brought me a lot of happiness. 
And I think uh, whatever you can do, if you don't have the funds, you can actually go and help them out, volunteer, learn about animals. And uh, that will make a difference in the long run. So I would urge all of you to visit Wildlife SOS, volunteer, adopt, check out their website. There's so much happening. And I think they're in nine states. So it doesn't matter where you're from, you can still work. And I think I would, uh, I would urge all of you to do that. And um, uh, I think uh, a part of my savings every month I give it to animals. And I think if you could do that, 10%, 15%, 20%, 500 rupees, it does make a difference. And I think it will uh, it'll be great to have a certificate saying you're the mom of an elephant. I think I have so many certificates lying around. So it brings in a lot of happiness and I think you should all do that. Thank you so much, Samyukta. It was really wonderful and enjoyable to chat with you. I hope to see you again soon. Take care yeah. and stay safe. Thank you, Karthik, for having me on the show. And again, congratulations on all the great work that you're doing. And I hope to be associated with Wildlife SOS for the rest of my life. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll see you around. Absolutely. Thank you and bye-bye.